Hey kids! This is so exciting. Okay, I'm moving away from the table and we have a whole new setup and this is our next experiment. So it's it's in the Harcourt book. Uh, this is your blue science book. Uh, if you're a subscriber and you don't have the Harcourt book, uh, I will probably just show you the pages that we're working on and you can try this at home. It's This is actually one of my most favorite activities of the whole year because it's just so super relevant. Um, so the activity is called From Salt Water to Fresh Water. I'm trying to move my arm out of the way and make it straight for you. <laughs> and so this is on page 224 in your textbook. And so I'm gonna help you see what you need to do to get it all set up at home. And so we're going to uh, gather our materials and then we'll kind of go through the steps to see what it takes, but it actually takes a little while. Um, usually it takes me kind of a bit longer when um, you guys are here because I need to create enough fresh water for everybody to try some. So that actually takes usually like two weeks of me kind of heating the water, heating the water, and then taking that condensation like we did from our greenhouse activity and um, tapping it down into our jar. So what am I talking about? Let me show you. So you're going to need a bowl. Now I don't actually have any clear bowls that the science kit provides, but they do give us these super handy plastic bowls and this is fine. You don't have to see through it. It is more fun when you can see through it as is everything, but, uh, but this is fine. So just a plastic bowl that your mom won't bother you uh, and say like, hey, I need that for cooking. Then it says 500 milliliters of water. I already measured this out. It's actually 600 and it doesn't really matter because we're not going to do the part that says, um, actually that's close enough. I wanna make sure it doesn't overwhelm my jar. There we go. Yeah, so I usually do about 550 to 600 milliliters of water. And this little jar, okay, now this is the tricky part. So you may not have this at home, but you may have something at home. It's like a jar that you can put in the middle of your bowl, okay? So you're gonna need that. And it has to be glass, plastic won't work because it'll just float away, okay? So what are we doing here? Well, we're trying to make a model of the ocean. And so what we're gonna need is some salt. And in fact, I'm thinking that I might have a wee bit too much water. There it goes. I'm so professional. I impressed myself. Anyway, I just don't want it to be too close to the top of the jar. So 500 milliliters, that's why they recommend it. I think I was a little over today. So how much salt do you need? Well, I have a tablespoon. And again, if you don't have a tablespoon, you can just use a, a large spoon. So unlike yesterday or the previous video with the greenhouse where I said just a teaspoon, a small one, I always like to make my water pretty salty. So I'm gonna go ahead and salt it up. Ask your parents if you are gonna use salt. Uh, don't take the last of the salt. So I have a big full tablespoon. I'm gonna do another one. Nice and salty. And I'm gonna do another one. Three tablespoons, that'll wow you. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect but just approximately three tablespoons is adequate. I don't want to use up my one container of salt and then that would be gone forever until I go to the store again. So um, mix it up, kind of like the ocean. The currents carry lots of things all around and we have salty water. Now, if you have a Q-tip, that's probably the one thing I if you have a Q-tip, you can uh, taste the salt water. Now, if this is your own water, that's why I didn't really have the Q-tips ready because nobody's going to try this water except me. Um, all you really need is just a little taste of the water. And so just to kind of confirm that it's salty, I'm sticking my Q-tip in and I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in my mouth. Whoa. Blech. tastes like salt and I'm going to toss that away okay so you definitely want to taste it this is all about 
like having a taste and recognizing this is salt water, okay? It's not really as salty as ocean water for sure, like ocean water is very salty, but this is salt water. Now, take this glass, must be glass, uh, jar and put it in the middle. And it's empty and dry, just so you know, it's empty and dry. Just in case you don't believe me, I'm gonna give you a closer look. It's empty, it's wet on the outside now, but it's dry on the inside, okay? Put it in your salt water. And so it's an empty, dry, little gathering cup. And the next thing we're gonna do is take a piece of saran wrap. I pre-cut this so I can drape it over the top. Okay, and kind of not tight, but not too loose. What you're gonna want is to have a little low spot in the middle so that, like we were talking about in class, um, when the water gets warm, it evaporates and it's going to come up just like it did in the greenhouse. It's gonna start bouncing all around. And where's it gonna go? Well, the only place it's gonna go is onto the inside of the plastic wrap. So get that rubber band you need a big rubber band that's pretty stretchy. I hope this one doesn't break, but if it does, I have more. Okay, and kind of loosen up the plastic so that in the middle, you can have a low point because in the low point is where we're going to put a little uh, weight. And so in the book, they recommend like um, a small ball. So thanks to somebody who left this behind a little while ago, I have this great ball. Hopefully I won't wreck my experiment bouncing the ball. And I'm just going to plop that right there. Now it rolls around, so I need to make sure that it's going to be right over the glass jar. And again, move the plastic wrap so that it's definitely going down. Okay? Adjust the rubber band so that the ball is down at the center of the low point and right above the jar. And then after a while, like you get kind of good about scooching the, um, the plastic bowl so that I got to show you guys this because it's always kind of a, um, it's a challenge to get the ball to be right over the jar. Okay, so that's what you want to do. Have the ball right over the jar. It should be right there, centered. And so if it rolls away a little bit, um, that will stay. I have all my staplers here so that the camera will not tip over. It's so professional. I know, my whole setup here. Okay, anyway, that's just about it. So we have our little, um, our salt water and it's going to start evaporating, but we're gonna to have to come back and check on it, okay? So it needs to have a warm place. Again, a sunny window, if you can just kind of leave it for a little bit. Uh, a sunny window is the best spot where nobody is gonna mess with it. Um, my windowsill is too narrow, so I will have to like put it outside. And you know what I also do uh, with this to kind of hurry up the process is um, I'll put it in the microwave <laughs> for about a minute each morning and that will kind of heat it up. But yeah, I noticed that it also will make the plastic wrap expand because I, I take the ball off, I put it in the microwave for about a minute and microwaves vary in power so you would have to be really careful with that. Um, but I put it in for about a minute. It heats up the cold water, and again, the glass is microwavable. My glass is. You'd have to check what you're putting in. And um, and then uh, the condensation, when you bring it out, you put the ball on, and it will all start running down into the jar. So that's what the goal is. We're going to try to make fresh water out of salt water. So. Uh, just to kind of follow up then with the procedure, um, right, oh, it's so hard to do this, it's like watching a mirror. Okay, so this is the procedure right here, 
and it's we've pretty much done all that we've got the bowl we have the salt uh, we've put the jar in the center did the plastic wrap on top put the ball uh, on the wrap and see all these things are pretty tame it's like regular stuff you might have at home now there's this last part that I don't bother with it's tape on the outside of the bowl to mark the level of the salty water as if I was going to lose like a centimeter of water during the evaporation process. And usually in the time that I have, I can't lose that much water because we need the experiment to be over within like three weeks. So we get enough for everybody to have another Q-tip taste and then we will taste that after we have created some fresh water. So anyway, that's what's coming. Uh, leave the plastic wrap on. Do not take the plastic wrap off. Uh, the longer it stays on there, the more condensation that can gather on the inside, and then the easier it will be for it to drain down the center. So yay, this is going to be so great, you guys. Um, you're going to love it. So anyway, that's how you set up your experiment at home, and uh, just play the video while you gather all your things it might take like if the videos what are we at 11 minutes it might take you um 15 minutes to get it all together maybe 20. so i'll be checking in with you guys on that and then i'll do another video uh, when we wrap it up in a week or so and again i won't need three weeks to do this because i only need enough fresh water for me and you only need enough fresh water for you so yay I hope you have fun with this one and good luck and I'll I'll just sign off. Bye.